Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the A-Team. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. Let's start out by making the AK-001. That's the first lure in the catalog, the 18 catalog, that you'll find in the top left-hand page. It's a really unique lure. Let's start with the metal shaft that we're working with, 062 diameter stainless steel. We're going to put two primary beads on, first the smallest bead, then the next bead, and we're going to assemble those just by sliding them right on the shaft. It's no big deal. Slide them right on the shaft. Then we're going to choose a clevis out of our clevis container. We're going to take the clevis that we're working with and we're going to assemble that on the shaft. So we bring the clevis on, you're going to feed the end of the wire through the clevis. On this particular lure we're playing with this blade, so we're going to put the first blade on so the painted version or the face version is facing the front of the lure. So what you're seeing is this. Then we're going to take the second clevis and that's going to go on before we put the next blade on. So we'll thread the next clevis on and then we'll close the gap by putting the the union, the final union of the first clevis on. That leaves us with an open clevis, the second one. We're going to put our second blade on it and now we've got our blades on the shaft like they should be. Now your blades should spin freely. If they're not spinning freely, then chances are you've got something wrong. So get it on there and spin your blades and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so the blades are on. Now for the AKs, we're going to take our largest bead and we're going to count four of them. You're going to thread it on the shaft. There's a hole drilled through the beads. So you just thread it right on the shaft. This is so easy. Now you've got four beads that are on the shaft. You're going to slide those all the way up. Again, your assembly should spin freely. If everything is right, it should spin freely. That's also how freely they're going to spin in the water. So this is an amazing bait. When you get it in the water, it'll kind of, it'll really blow you away. All right, now we've got our beads on. Our first body on this particular lure is our black mylar. Our mylar is so black, if you look at this close enough, you'll actually see tints of blues and stuff in it. There's actually tints of reds in it. This is a pure, pure black. So we're going to put our custom-made bullet. Now these are, again, proprietary to A-Team Tackle. We have these custom-made. So we have our bullet with our mylar on it. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble another clevis. The clevis is going to slide on just like we did when we put our blades on. You can see it right there. Then we're, this time we're going to take a split ringed hook. We use 5-2x laser eagle claws. And we're going to drop it on there just like we did our blades. And then we're going to close that union by putting the entire clevis on the shaft. See how it slides up? It's going to be right to the back of the body, of the first body. Once we've got that in place, we're going to take two more beads for spacers. We need to keep we need to keep the spacers far enough apart so we don't get hook foul. And all this placing that we've done on here is very strategic. We've done it for a reason. We've got the best bite ratio out of our hook position yet we've got plenty plenty of of, of hook point when the fish wants to eat it. Our next body we're going to put on is our copper body. This copper body, when you get this copper body in the water, this thing looks almost orange. It's an amazing color when you get it in the water. Now that we've got that on, we're going to put six more beads on the back of it. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. Now, this is the first time you're going to have to use a tool in this whole assembly. As you can see right now, we've actually got the bait looking like you'll go to the water with it. We've got to close it off is all we've got to do. 
For that, we're going to use two very specific tools. One you might already carry in your tackle box, and another you probably don't. Let's take, first of all, the Nipix round nose that we use, and we're going to grasp the wire firmly about three quarters of an inch from the last bead. So the gap you've got here is, say, about three quarters of an inch from this bead right here up to my tool is about three quarters of an inch. Once I do that, then I'm going to wrap it forward and I'm going to grasp the wire and bring the wire back around, making a 90 degree intersection across my shaft. So you can see right now my loop is basically a three quarter loop. It's closed, it comes right across the top of the wire. At that point, I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to roll this around, keeping my needle nose inside where it needs to be. Now, you heard me say needle nose. If you were in a pinch and you didn't want to have or didn't have a round nose pliers like we use the Nipix, then a needle nose would work for you. This is what a needle nose would look like. They're squared, except this is a split ring pliers. They, they would be squared off on both sides. And for the final loop on the end of the bait, it's not going to make any difference. Fish don't really care. But the fact is, is we have the round nose tool, so we'll bend it so we get a nice even loop around it. Then we're going to wrap it around. Once we've done that, we're going to take our Nipix cutters, and we're going to just snip it off. The last thing you've got to do is apply your last hook and you've got what you need in an AK-001. There's the lure that we're talking about. There's the lure we've made. Now, if we take the blades, again, you'll see that the blades spin just easily. They're really free. They'll spin like that in the water as well. You have placement, hook placement. There's your primary hook in the front your secondary hooks in the back. These two hooks cannot come together. Unless you bend this bait in half, you cannot get these two hooks together. You can see we can go shaft to shaft and that's it. So the placing that we have on the lure is absolute. All you got to do now is take that AK-10-001 right there, put it in the water, go catch fish. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the 18. Simply call 1-800-222-8775.